This is Think Tech Hawaii. Community matters here. Aloha. I'm Marcia Joyner, and we are navigating the journey. Navigating the journey is dedicated to exploring the options and choices for the end of life care and to assist people to talk about their wishes. It's time to transform our culture so we shift from not talking about dying to talking about it. It's time to share the way we want to live our lives at the end of our lives and to communicate about the kind of care we want and don't want for ourselves. We believe that the time and place for this to begin is not in the intensive care unit, but together we can explore the various paths to life's ending. Together we can make these difficult conversations easier. Together we can make sure that our own wishes and those of our loved ones are expressed and respected. So if you're ready to join us, we ask, navigate the journey. And today, today is a mystical, magical day. It is, of course, a wonderful Wednesday because you're with us. It is Ash Wednesday. It is Valentine's Day. And it is the beginning of a solar eclipse. And when you put all that together, it is a magical time to think about us, to love us, to care about us. The Catholics talk about Lent, and they talk about giving up. Okay, Jesus went up to the mountains for 40 days to meditate, to get in touch with his spiritual self, to learn about this. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to look at ourselves. We're going to look at this journey that life is on, that we are on. We are going to spend this day with my mystical, magical, dear friend, Rhea Fox. <laughs> and Rhea is an international interpreter of the Cards of Destiny system. Ah. Rhea, yes. my love. Yes. yes. <laughs> she, is, she is magical. She is just magical. So I'm going to ask her to show us. But now I want you to take notes. Would you like to have a map of your life's journey? Ah. Mm. Ooh. Have you ever wanted to script, to take the script to take through life so that you can navigate the journey? Ah. And give yourself mm. permission to start all over. So that is what we're going to do. We're going to look at, on this magical day, mm. we are going to look at this system, International Destiny Card System. Ah, Rhea, darling. So tell us, where do we begin? It is an international system, and in, as I was speaking about it here, because uh, I have international clients, but it is a worldwide system, an ancient system. Uh, the system is far beyond this time. It's not something that somebody made up yesterday, day before yesterday and came out with this thing. When it was uh, introduced to me more than 22 years ago, I had, one, never heard of it, and two, was fascinated. My whole life I've been fascinated by astrology, numerology, anything that was alchemical or mystical or seemed like more than what was going on in my immediate reality or what people around me were talking about. So I was introduced to this system and I couldn't figure out how every day of the year has a playing card attached to it. I actually have bound a, a deck of cards so that we can think of it as what it really is. It's a little book. And they called it in the ancient times a little book of secrets. Ah. Every day of the year has a card attached to it. Today, interestingly enough, Valentine's Day is a Jack of Diamonds. And if you know Jacks, who are always <laughs> enough about me, let's talk about me, uh, that's not their only thing. Jacks are also, um, in, they indicate initiations into a higher level of something. 
Interestingly, it's the Jack of Diamonds. It's not the Jack of Hearts, which is an in, in, in initiation into a higher level of love. This is an, in, an initiation into higher values. And also, the Jack of Diamonds is known as the super salesman. So if you think about <laughs> the Valentine's Day, it's a day to sell. sell yeah, and everybody <laughs> sells, sells, sells. But, but I mean selling the love, too. Yeah. Making your, your, your beloved buy you, buy but, your... And, however, attached to that is the guilt if you don't do it. So that's why I am saying... Interesting. Oh, yeah. I am saying learn to do, to love yourself so that if the, somebody else doesn't do, there's no guilt. I love me. I am going to take care of me. This is the beginning of Lent. I am going to nourish my body by not needing all, eating all this junk. Uh, so that's why I'm saying... Don't, if somebody doesn't give you something, don't do the guilt. Don't, oh. don't. Let go of the oh, guilt. That, that's so far beyond my realm. I, I, just, I'm just, hearing just, you, but. Just don't, don't, <laughs> yeah. don't, don't go down that road. <laughs> don't let the commercials tell you you've got to have flowers that wilt and chocolate that makes you fat. Don't go down that road. <laughs> well, that's a wonderful thing about this system because um, I remember before I was introduced to the system, I used to say things like, Gosh, we're just thrown into earth life and we don't have a guidebook or a map. We're supposed to figure this out and we're always starting all over again from square one. And God bless them. Our parents don't know what they were doing either. So it's not what they could teach us basically, you know, how to navigate certain areas of life. But for the navigation of the heart's journey and the soul's journey, which is what life really is, there was nothing. So I must say that I did not discover this system until I was well along in my life. And I'm not one to lament about what didn't happen before. Um, so, you know, I had to just kind of suck it up and move on. <laughs> but it was kind of like, whoa! One of my sheer delights with the system is to work with people who are before 30. People oh, between so that 18 lets me and 30. <laughs> no, 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 you, no that, that's not the point. I'm just saying that because when you have a sense of what the picture of life is, the overall picture of life, and there's a structure, and there's an unfoldment, and there's cycles of time, and there's um, uh, highlights, and there's lowlights, and there's times when um, you can move forward in this area, love, romance, relationship, uh, occupation, real estate, there's time for beginning, middle, and end of things, and this show, the system shows all of these things. And so I love to work with people. I mean, I have some clients, actually, that I've had since they were in their 20s, and now they're in their 40s. And they just thank me so profusely for the profound impact that the system and having this system, um, the difference that it's made in their lives. And uh, that, that it humbles me tremendously. So we have the... The Jack of Diamonds, and that's today. Today, and and we're gonna, you know, we're gonna use you as an illustration. So I have to, you know, kind of like get your. Uh, that's okay. You know, you're okay. Oh yeah. So Marsha, by her May twenty second birthday, just to show how does this work, you know, because I could talk for hours about the Cards of Destiny system, but let's just go into it uh, with a solid example. So Marsha. Uh, May 22nd, yeah. two days before me, I'm so thrilled to say, <laughs> uh, is, a, is a 10 of diamonds. 10 that, is no, always a, a number a of success. I'm sorry, it's not, I'm sorry. I'm talking too fast. I'll slow down. It's a 10 of clubs. It's a so 10 of clubs. Do so uh, hearts are love, romance, relationship, as you would expect. Uh, femininity is expressed by the hearts mothering, uh, home and family, all heart suited. Mm -hmm areas. The clubs, which we are, is information, communication, course, talking talk, to each other, talk, sharing talk. information. The professions of teaching, speaking, writing, publishing all fall under the auspices of the club suit. And the ten of clubs specifically is success. All tens are success. So if you have a ten card, Yay. it's success <laughs> in the area of communication. Um, the diamond suit uh, which today is a diamond day, as I said, mm -hmm. are is diamonds always indicate money, but larger than that, they indicate values. Values are personal values, family values, uh, community values, tribal values, country values, and then world values. So that's always important to remember. People get excited, diamonds, diamonds, but it's values as well. And then the spade suit that are really the elders. 
they're generally when a spade a person is a spade suited person has a spade birthday they're deeper spades on the mundane level govern work and health matters specifically mm -hmm. but spades also have to do with wisdom they're the wisdom suit so you may find it's not always true but most any spade suited person that you come in contact with has what I consider a little bit of a heavier load to carry because they can. They've been through the others before and so they can. So Marsha is a 10 of clubs, a 10 of clubs, success in the, um, in the realm of communication. This is a picture of the grand solar spread. This is what I, this is what I um, work from. On one side is the mystic spread. It's laid out just like I have this book laid out from the first card to the last card. You're going all the way across, 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 across. When you get to here, then you rise up to here. Um, and it, it, it's a fascinating journey. It's a fascinating picture of the journey of life, since that is what we're doing, is navigating. I love that it's 11-11 right now. We're navigating the journey of life, and this little book really assists in that. Over here is the mundane spread, and this is where we read from. So you notice that here you are up here in the crown line. The oh. Ten of Clubs is a teacher's card. I think of it really more of as, as, as an advocate uh, in that a more ancient sense. Yeah. Uh, you're a person who teaches people how to advocate from the, for themselves, if you will. So what that says about you, uh, you stand right next to the Eight of Diamonds, so that is the mind spot. And as a Gemini, this is a very important card for you, but you're, uh, large sums of money have always been on your mind. When, you, when I look at a Ten of Clubs, it's a rare Ten of Clubs that didn't grow up with everything that they needed. Nothing was lacking. Now, what does rich mean? Rich is in your own reality. How did you experience it? So you had everything that you needed. The, the most prominent and meaningful card in Marsha Rose's destiny path, because what we're looking at is the destiny path on top, and then at the bottom is the reading for the year. But in your destiny path, look at that. The King of Diamonds, which you stand right next to the King, excuse me, the King of Spades. Spades. Let me slow down just a tad. The King of Spades is the most powerful card in the deck, and you have the King of Spades as your Venus card. Oh. That means you see the whole world of love through the auspices of the King of Spades. You have love for everything and everyone. In your personal life, that means you would always have to be with a very powerful man because having the king of spades as your Venus card makes you an extremely <laughs> powerful woman. And many, many men went, went scurrying and running away because it was just way too, too intense much. and powerful for them to even deal with. But as far as your life's work, it doesn't get any better than that. Um, the king of spades assists you in actualize any goal that you think of and that's throughout life uh, I could say that er there were early years maybe in your between you know your mid-teens and your when you got to be 30 ish where it was kind of like if you had any sense of it which most of us don't because we don't have the access anything you wanted you could unfold any anything that you wanted to create any job that you wanted anything like that you know it depends some in some ways on what was happening during the course of the year so, but you have the ability to actualize whatever your heart desired. So, we need to take a break, and then when we come back, let's look at the rest of the deck. Sounds good. Okay, we'll be right back. This is Think Tech Hawaii, raising public awareness. I just walked by and I said, what's happening, guys? They told me they were making music. Aloha, welcome to Hawaii. This is Prince Dykes, your host of the Prince of Investing, coming to you guys each and every Tuesday at 11 a.m. right here on Think Tech Hawaii. Don't forget to come by and check out some of the great information on stocks, investings, your money, all the other great stuff, and I'll be your host. See you too. <laughs> we are back with my dear friend, 
Rhea Fox, <laughs> who is, all of you know, is the tent goddess. <laughs> Yeah, if you Google tent goddess, there she is. <laughs> I love it. All of you All know of I love you, that. Yes, yes, you know. Uh, and she has been talking about the destiny card system. It's a destiny system. Mm -hmm. And so she tells me I am a ten of clubs. clubs. Never quite thought of me as the clubs, but okay, we'll do that. Now, okay, so I didn't think about it. <laughs> Now, so if a person says, hey, I like this idea, what, what would it, how do you lay out a path? How do you lay out a journey for somebody? You were talking about people in their 30s. How do you lay out a journey given the cards? Well, the lovely thing about the system and what um, was my big question in the beginning is that the system's already laid out. It's an ancient system, and as I showed the... Um, uh, grand solar spread everyone has a place everyone has a place already and then so here, if they if you already have a place it's just knowing where knowing where it knowing where your place is and then what 12 cards follow you in this very specific pattern so that you can navigate through you're navigating the path, path that you you're and I, I contend that the soul chose so this, path. this path people yes. say the baby was born earlier the baby was born late I don't believe in any of that souls come in exactly, exactly at the time to uh, actualize the path that the soul has chosen. So once you come on in that come in on that date, for example, you as the Ten of Clubs, then you're following this path. Your path was prominent from the beginning. And then there's uh, the other thing is that what comes after that is you have a tremendous amount of what we call spiritual energies. Um, you have a lot of intuitive energies. You have a lot of energies of creativity and expression. And when you know specifically what those are, then you said something earlier about people feeling guilty about doing something or not doing something. When you understand your own soul path, and when you understand the soul paths of your mates, your children, and that sort of thing, then that just takes the terror down so far right because everyone is actually doing the best that they can to walk their own path mm -hmm. um, so what what do you do so you come to someone like me <laughs> who illuminates for you, <laughs> Don't you just uh, love by this, looking the, at your the ten goddess idea. by <laughs> looking at your at this simple chart very mathematical simple. <laughs> very mathematical well all these is the months of the year and oh, the dates thanks. and okay. so you're doing the cross to find your specific card so that's the date that you were born is what you're looking for yes you're okay. looking for the month and the day that you were born and your card is there in the cross pattern and then I draw out a chart like this and then I interpret your birth chart. Like I said, this is what the path that you're following from birth to death in this lifetime, uh, where you started and where you're going. And then on your birthday, this is the important part, on your birthday every year, you get a new set of influences that work for that year alone. Mm -hmm. And so when you know that, there are years that are just off the charts. There are years when you can do no wrong. Pretty much every year has one pitfall, and if yeah. you know that, that's good too. But there are years when things are so good, and they'll pass by, and nothing happens if you don't know and don't do anything with the energies that are available. There are years that are so dramatic and so trying, oh. and a lot of times we humans <laughs> go through these dramatic, trying years, and we blame it all on ourselves. We're doing something wrong. Uh, we're not being good if we'd only not miss that. But it's nothing like that. It's just, this too shall pass is one of the phrases that I use over and over in interpreting this system. Mm -hmm. This too shall pass, and remember, the good stuff, what we call the good stuff, and the bad, bad stuff, stuff, this it's too shall pass. So you just learn, it's like surfing. I, I think of this system as teaching you how to surf the big waves of life and how to ride in the, you know, the gentle ones that are just taking you in while you're grinning on your surfboard and your friends are filming. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, when, you know, as we talk about navigating the journey, that's the whole purpose of the show, and about the end of life. And so many people are so afraid of the end of life. And so many people have, uh, and, and I blame this on the Catholics, because they teach heaven and hell. 
and damnation and Satan. Well, most and, religions yeah, do, don't okay. they? So, so we have all of this from the childhood, right? How do we let go of that? Here, we're looking at your system. We need to let go of that and look at the end of life as we did looking forward to the beginning of life. Does this show, can we use this to navigate? Absolutely, absolutely. Um, I, I am uh, very uh, secure in telling certain people, looking at certain people's charts and saying, uh, I, I know that a lot of people are afraid of death, and you don't have to be, and a lot of people are afraid of, uh, you know, dementia, right. deterioration. And there are certain charts where that's not going to happen no matter what. It's just not. So when you understand things like that, and there are others where there th that may happen, and here's what you can do about it. So that's... it really becomes um, not something that you're at the effect of so much as you're thriving, you came in here, you drove in here, how do you want to drive through and then drive out, out. of this course? Yes. You know, and um, it becomes, I, I'm very playful about it. In, in my early times, I remember um, I offered a reading to a friend in this certain industry that I was involved in, and she said, okay, she was just open, because I was thinking that she would, you know, recommend me to other people be careful of giving anything away like that uh, because <laughs> what happened was I immediately saw given the information that she gave me and the facts of what was happening in her life that her mom was going to pass away that year at a specific time and I shared that with her because I had already been taught not to uh, fumble or hold those kinds of things back. she was furious her mom absolutely did pass away at that time. And for, for me, that's kind of like, well, I want to know. So I can make, spend some time and do what yes. these, to me, that's just like, that's inevitable. We, we were born, we live life, and we pass on. So she was infuriated with me that I told her that it was good. I'm, I'm sorry to laugh, but to me, it's just kind of like, really? And um, we have to get over that. Yes. We really have to embrace yeah, I the reality. I uh, had my mother in hospice at home mm -hmm. the last year of her life, mm -hmm. and it was hard. It was difficult to watch the strongest woman I'd ever known yes. pass. Yes, but it was also a time for loving her the way I wanted to love her, mm -hmm. to be with her. And now you've known me a long time. You know I make a big deal out of everything. <laughs> <laughs> so I made a big deal out of she was with me when I took my first breath. Therefore, I need to be with her when she, she takes, takes her last. last. And I was. I crawled in the bed. What a blessing. What it a blessing. It was a blessing. And that is the point of all of this. Our show is that we want to talk about it. We want to embrace it. We want to let go of the fear, the trauma, the pain, the ache. Yes, you know, we all know that you're going to miss this person. This has been somebody special in your life. But we need to talk about, we need to have this conversation about the end of life. And that's why I'm asking again about if a person knows that they're coming to the end or their loved one is coming to the end, how do we talk about it? How do we embrace it? That's my question to you. Mm -hmm. That's what what we wanted, we, what I hope our audience takes away from every show we do is how do we embrace this? Well, embracing the reality that it is true. Yes. Um, it is not something to avoid. In fact, I've known beautiful people in my life who had their celebration of life when they wanted it. Right. Because they wanted to be there. They wanted to party. They wanted to dance. They wanted to enjoy the food. You know, they're up in their, they're up in their 80s or 90s, but they wanted to have this party while they were there. Yes. That's certainly one thing you can do. Um, that doesn't mean, okay, now I can go because I'm done. It's, that's still up to you. I really believe that the soul, again, as it chooses its birth, the soul ultimately chooses how it will pass out of here. And when you can just play with and, even, and embrace that idea a little bit, I'm going to go when I want to go. I'm not going to be drug out of here. It's not going to happen in this wrenching way. I'm going to go when I want to go, when I desire, when I'm done with my life, I'm going to go. 
um, I, I can already hear, you know, well, what about people, this happens to them or it comes unexpectedly. I still feel that on some level that we cannot understand, they've already made that choice and decision. They've already made that pact. So they're going when they want to go, whether they're aware of it or not. Um, I hope I'm answering the question yes. that you're asking. Yes, and, and I'm just saying that if, if somebody watching and says, oh, that sounds interesting, would it be in, in this, is, this is the one you made for me. Yes. Okay, so would it be down here that we are, these are long range kinds of Those things. are your five main themes for the year. This is the, this is the year from your, no, not long range. This, that, what you're asking is about life path. Yes. There is a way to calculate in the cards. And like I said, this is an ancient system. So it's very much keyed into, I, from my experience of 22 years, it's keyed into us on a cellular level. So this is not just like, ooh, airy, fairy. It's very <laughs> specific. It's very, for me, scientific. Um, and there is a way to calculate when you would leave. No one has ever asked me to do that, and so I don't. If I'm reading for someone and I see someone's passing that I know is close to them, unless they tell me, I don't want to hear that, then I'm going to share that with them. Well, what I'm, I'm asking, I guess, is that this is open to everyone, and you say this is a worldwide system. People do it all over the world. Ancient. Ancient system. Mm -hmm. And so it's proven itself over the years. <laughs> in you so know. many ways. In As so I many. said, I'm humbled by the ways in which this system has proven itself in my life and in my clients' life. Well, lives. what I want more than anything is for our people who watch to be able to say, here's someone I can talk to. Here's someone that I can... Um... Incidentally, she's not sponsoring the program, so don't go there. <laughs> so, but I want you to know that, that here is someone that they can talk to about and have a conversation about the choices and options at the end of life. Because that, to me, is why we're here, is to have that conversation about passing, about the end of life, about the choices and the options. I want you to know I'm very comfortable with that conversation. So, okay? Well... I thank you so much for spending this time with me. What a me. pleasure. Thank you. As always, I am always pleased with spending, like I said, the time with you. She's also a jazz singer. If, if you keep thinking, gee, that voice sounds familiar, she's one of the greats of Honolulu. Bless you. So thank you again, and aloha. Aloha.